thinking about buying the Anko handheld garment steamer from Kmart, but you're not sure if it's going to be the right thing for you? I've been using this for about three weeks now, so I can give you all the tips and all the tricks, and I can let you know whether I think it's going to work for you or not. Let's do it. <laughs> I've never used a steamer before. I didn't know what to expect. I went into this experiment completely blind, and the short story is I'm pretty happy with it. It does a really good job. First thing I noticed is it's very light and it's very easy to hold. To move the button, it's within an easy reach and the cord is two and a half meters long. So that makes it so much easier to reach into those hard to get at power points. This is the little water container. It simply slides off and you fill it in the top. It only holds 80 mils of water and I have found that one tank of water is enough to do one shirt. So the first thing we do is we remove the water container. Now up here near the top are some little ridges which just makes it easier to grip onto. So you just grab it there, pull it off, undo the little cap, doing, and fill it with water. Squeeze the lid back on so it's sealed. Slide it back into position. It's pretty straightforward to use. You've got off, low steam, high steam. That's all there is to it. Plug it in and turn it on. There's a blue light, you know when it's turned on. It only takes about 30 seconds to heat up. And there we are. When you first turn it on, it'll sort of cough and splutter and spit a bit. That's just a bit of leftover water from when you've used it the time before. So let it steam a bit in the air before you put it straight onto your clothes. It won't do the clothes any damage, it's only water, but you just get these big bits of water splash, which you've then got to try and steam out. So let it steam a bit till it stops coughing and away you go. This is hot. Steam will do so much damage, it's not funny. A steam burn is worse than a water burn or a heat burn. You know how I get around not burning myself? I hold the fabric with some tongs. I have seen people hold the, their steamer away from the fabric. Um, maybe if you've got a super duper deep expensive fancy one that would work. I've been using it up nice and close against the fabric and I find that works. By holding with the tongs, it helps it helps get a nice tight fold so you get that pleat in the in the sleeve and I'm not gonna burn my hand. The first time I did this I was really slow, I didn't know what I was doing, it didn't do a very good job. It seemed to take a really long time and I thought, oh this is pretty crap. But you do get used to it and we tend to whip, I tend to whip through the shirts pretty quick now. Can you imagine if I was holding that with my fingers? I'd have no skin left. I'd have no flesh left. Do it slowly. Doing it fast doesn't achieve anything. You do need to work slowly. where you've got extra wrinkly bits, you just steam it for a little bit extra longer. Can you hear that noise? That's the sound it makes because the tank is out of water. Let's just do a really quick overview of it. It's a good price, it comes with a 12 month warranty and it is easy to hold and easy to use. It's got a really convenient long power cord, but the 80 mil water tank is really small. So you either make yourself positioned close to a tap or you have a little jug of water near wherever you are. I haven't had any need to use the 
to use the thing. I don't have any need for that, but you might. And it does come with an instruction book if you've got any questions. It does recommend that you use distilled water in the tank because tap water has chemicals in it. It can build up residue in the water tank. It can block the holes and it can shorten the life of your appliance. It also then says if you do get a buildup of gunk in the gadget, you can clean it using a, a mixture of water and vinegar. So it tells you in the book how to do that. I do highly recommend using the tongs to hold your fabric because if you get that steam on you, it will bloody hurt. In my opinion, it will not replace your iron. If you have a lot of ironing to do, if you've got, you know, five work shirts every week, if you've got kid uniforms, if you've got nice clothes, this will not replace your iron. But if you're like us and you've got two work shirts that only get used a few times a week, and that's it, this is perfect. It's easy to store, it doesn't take up much space, it heats up quick, it cools down quick, it does a good enough job. I think it does a really good little job actually, um, but it won't replace your iron. If you're thinking about getting something like this to do your curtains, I have heard that you can't use this sort of thing very successfully on sheer lightweight fabrics. But then again, I read other things that say they've used a steamer on their sheer curtains and it's done a good job because they misted it with water, used a spray bottle and misted the curtains first to dampen them down and then spray them. So if you are thinking of using this to do curtains while they're hanging in place, can't guarantee it, bit of trial and error, good luck. But other than that, nice cotton work shirts, good sturdy fabric, yeah, definitely. It's not gonna replace the iron, but I think if you've just got a few things to do every week, it's a winner. If you've got any questions, let me know down below. I'll see if I can answer them, and I will hopefully see you next time at Home with Karen.